Hello and a tolerable new year to one and all. It's time for another vlog from my YouTube channel, the nippy and manoeuvrable rally chopper of criticism, cheekily overtaking the Bond bug of mainstream discourse. This week sees the release of the charming and beautifully acted Empire of Light, with which Sam Mendes makes his screenwriting debut, starring Olivia Colman as the depressed assistant manager of a seaside cinema in the early 80s, who falls in love with a ticket seller, played by Michael Ward. So if I run the film at 24 frames per second, it creates an illusion of motion. An illusion of life. So you don't see the darkness. Out there, I just see a beam of light. Now, the love letter to the movies is a tricky genre. My own rule here, incidentally, is that any film on any subject, if it is any good, is already a love letter to the movies. But Sam Mendes has taken this form and revived it with an engrossing, poignantly observed drama about love, life and the fragile art of movie going, wonderfully shot by Roger Deakins. This film takes something from the tenderness and sadness of movies like The Smallest Show on Earth or Cinema Paradiso or the last picture show, adding maybe even a little bit of the lonely disquiet of Chantal Ackermann's Jan Dielman. Mendes brings his own distinctive sense of personal drama, his adroit handling of actors, and his sweet tooth for catchy jukebox slams on the soundtrack. When the cinema hires a new ticket seller, Stephen, played with emotional openness and sympathy by Michael Ward, this young man has an instant connection with the assistant manager, Hilary, played by Coleman. Their relationship blossoms, but the nature of Hillary's sadness rises alarmingly to the surface. There are some wonderful set-piece scenes in Empire of Light. Everyone is thrilled at the news that the cinema is to get a special regional premiere of that summer's smash hit, Chariots of Fire, with loads of dignitaries present. But the big night is marred by a terrible scene out in the foyer once the film has begun, which is made even more painfully surreal and hilarious by the unmistakable sounds of Vangelis' electronic theme tune in the background as the shouting commences. Empire of Light is a sweet, heartfelt, humane movie which doesn't shy away from the brutality and the racism that was happening in the streets outside the cinema in the early 80s. This cinema is also incidentally showing Stir Crazy, starring Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder, directed by Sidney Poitier. A message of diversity there, if 1981 Britain care to listen. This is clearly a labour of love for Sam Mendes. Love requited. And so once again, the plush burgundy curtain falls on another vlog. Please give it a like and a share on your hugely influential socials. And of course, if you haven't done so already, you must subscribe and leave a fiercely supportive comment telling me that you have subscribed. And also get your debit card out and buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. Tune in next week.